Hi, this is Emily with Blogaholic Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to install social media icons onto your blogger sidebar without having to manually edit any code or without having to use a third party hosting site like Photobucket. Instead, you're going to store the images directly on Blogger, which makes it really easy to install. So the first thing you want to do is find or purchase social media icons if you haven't done that already. If you purchased icons from our store on our website or from our Etsy store, or if you purchased a pre-made blog template from us that came with social media icons, go ahead and locate that folder so that you know where your icons are when it's time to upload and then you're going to head over to blogger log in if you haven't done that already go to the blog that you want to install the social media icons onto and then click create new post what this post is going to do is store our social icons for us so go ahead and give it a title that you will remember um, I usually do important and then do not publish or delete because you are never going to publish this post because you don't want it to show up with your other blog posts. It's simply just to host the images. So go ahead and click save. Again, don't click publish and um, just click on save. And then you're going to switch over to HTML. It's really important that you upload the images while in the HTML window because if you use compose, it will create spaces. And then when you install it onto your sidebar, those spaces will also be there and it won't look very good. So definitely make sure you're in HTML, click inside the box and then click on the little image icon to insert images and then choose the files that you want to upload. Mine's already in the social media icons I want, so I'm going to click to select each icon that I want. So I'm going to choose Facebook, Google Plus, and Pinterest, and Twitter. And then I'm going to open all of those. And then I'm going to make sure that there's a blue box around each one. So left click on each image so that it has a blue box around it and then click add selected and then you'll see a bunch of code that's the code for your images and you're going to switch over to compose so you actually see your images and the next thing that we're going to do is uh, link each image so we're going to link the images so that when people click on them they end up on our social media sites so for example google i'm going to go over to my google plus page I don't want it to go to the Google Plus homepage. I want people to end up on my page. So I'm going to go to my most recent post is where I want to link people to. And I'm going to grab that web address up at the top. So copy that and then head back to your post. Click on Google Plus and then click on link. And then you have to do it two times. I'm not sure why. Click on Google Plus and click link. And then there's going to be a box where you can enter your web address. So go ahead and click in there and click paste and click OK. And then now that is linked. So I'm going to go to the next one, which is Pinterest. I'm going to go to my Pinterest page. I want to connect to my page that has my board. So I'm going to copy that URL. I'm going to go back to Blogger. I'm going to hit Pinterest and I'm going to hit link, Pinterest, link. And then again, I'm going to enter that web address right here. And I always keep this clicked open this link in a new window which means that it will open in a new tab and it won't direct people to my social media site and take them away from my website my website will still stay open in a window while the social media site will open in a new window so then the next one is twitter so i'm going to go to my twitter page and grab my url go back there click twitter link twitter link enter that web address and then real quick the last one we'll do is Facebook so again this is my Facebook page I'm going to grab the web address copy it go back to this post and click Facebook link Facebook link and then if you were going to do an email address icon you would just click here at email address and enter your email address which is really easy we're going to go back to web address for the Facebook icon and paste that web address click OK. Now all of our icons are linked to our social sites, but we need to center them. So you can left click on your mouse and scroll over all the images and then go up to alignment and then go to center. Or you can click Control A, 
which will highlight all of them and do the same thing. Go to center or on a Mac, you do command A and then center. So once they're centered, you're going to go back to HTML, which will show you all of the code. And now we need to grab all of this code. So again, you can left click on your mouse, roll over all of it, and then hover over it, right click and click copy or you can click anywhere inside the box and click Control A or Command A. Go, you put your cursor over it and click right click and then click copy. And then now that we've copied that, we want to save this page. I would keep it open just in case we need to go back to it. So you want to open your blog again in another page. We need to go over to our layout page. So if you don't know where that is, you can click on this drop down. Again, this is the blog that you want to put the icons on, and you go down to Layout. Or if you're on your blog real quick, you can just go up to Design, and then go over to Layout. So your Layout page is where you install gadgets for your sidebar. This is your sidebar. You're going to click Add a Gadget, and you need to choose HTML slash JavaScript, which is right here. You're going to click the plus button. Go ahead and click Inside the Content box and then you're going to right click on your mouse and click paste or if you used control A then you're going to click inside that box and click control V or command V and either way it'll paste that code in there for you so your code is all set if you wanted to give it a title like connect with us or stay connected you could do that right here but I like to leave it empty so that my um, social icons show up right at top and they're nice and clean so the next thing I'm going to do is click save and then I'm going to click Save Arrangement, and then I'm going to click View Blog, and then your icon should be there all set for you. And I'll show you what I meant by Open in a New Window. So this is my blog, and if I click on Google+, it doesn't take people away from my site. Instead, it opens up here on a new tab, and then they could come back to my blog. So that is it. You're all set. Thank you for watching.